right, it's been a long time since I've done a con survival video. The last one I did was almost four years, was well, almost five years ago, in between four and five years. It'll be five years this coming September, uh, September of 2020. Since then, things have changed. I have been to many more conventions than I did when I first did that video in the first place. Of multiple varieties, I did that video before I went to Worldcon for the first time. Um... And things have changed about the well, the Portland area, so I figured now is as good a time as any to do a revised con survival guide. Um, here are a couple handfuls, handful and a half of tips that I think are useful uh, and worthwhile to have for conventions. Some of these are ones you've heard multiple times before. Some of them are ones I've had from experience. Some of them are ones from um, things I've picked up from observation and general rule of thumb for how Things in the Portland area have changed over the past few years. Tip number one. Well, this is the oldie but goodie. The one two six rule. Minimum of one, sh one shower per day, two meals per day, and six hours of sleep. You can have more meals. You sh should actually get more sleep. But con schedules being as they are, that is not always the case. And that shower is a necessity, please. Um, that's that's a basic. The sleep helps keep getting the sleep helps you function the convention. Especially if you're a panelist and you're going to be talking in front of a lot of people, you want to be able to you know speak coherently in front of an audience, um, or ask coherent questions to the panelists of panels you want to go to, um, that sort of thing. Meals, you got to eat to function, that sort of thing. Second tip. Well, I mentioned this before. I mentioned this again now. Bring a water bottle. I re and in particular, I recommend bring 32 ounces of water in a water bottle. Transparent water bottle so you can get through security. Have it a, get a water bottle with a top that you can easily drink from over the course of the day. Not necessarily spilling, like a sports a sports top, a um, straw top, that sort of thing. And related to all of this, uh, drink all thirty two ounces by the end of the day. Like not in terms of like by which I mean drink thirty two ounces of water minimum because you need water. Your body needs water to process the food and stuff you eat over the course of the day. So having the rule of thumb, okay, I drank of. Making sure to drink those 32 ounces of water will help. You will also be drinking other water, additional water, and getting it from other places over the course of the day, from restaurants where you eat, um, that sort of thing. But a good rule of thumb, bring 32, a 32 ounce water bottle, drink it all. Like, honestly, if you don't have to take a bathroom break to go pee over the course of the convention, you're honestly not drinking enough water. Tip number three, with the exception of extenuating circumstances, in the sense of you are coming to, you are bringing your small child to the convention, take one bag in with you inside the convention. I mean, for your luggage at your hotel room, if you are traveling to the convention, that's, that's something else entirely. But more and more conventions have stepped up security in some manner or another have like if you're going to PAX they have um PAX has metal detectors and bag checks at all entrances that you have to go through the more bags you bring in the more time you will spend in line and the more time that everyone behind you spends in line so bring one bag get a sufficiently large bag for what you anticipate you will need and you can certainly put like rolled up grocery bags and stuff in there if you're planning to do a lot of shopping on the convention floor. But one bag. Um, bags of holding are great for this. Additionally, for when your bag selection, put something that can't where you can put your water bottle on the outside someplace accessible. If it has a spot in there to slide a water bottle in, that's great. Um, if your water bottle has a carabiner clip, so you can clip it to a strap on the outside of the bag, that is also will work great as well. This kind of relates to the last tip there. Um, 
but bring a, bring a bag of sufficient volume that will have the stuff that you need over the course of the convention and will carry the things that you purchase over the course of, of that day of the convention. So you don't have to go in and out and this, deal with the security line multiple times and so that you um, don't hold up the line for an excessive length of time. Or, I'm going to try to keep track of all of these. Um, plan, like, really scout your restaurants. If you are traveling for this convention, or if you're planning, on, even if you're local, but you're planning to spend all day in a metropolitan area, scout all your restaurants in advance twice. Once when you book your tickets for the convention, and a second time when on the day that you leave. So you know what places hours are. If their hours have changed in between the time you booked the convention, booked your trip to the convention, and when you leave. And also if they've closed. Just because a, a restaurant has been a staple of the city that you go to your convention, whether it's DC, uh, Indianapolis, Seattle, or whatever, doesn't mean it'll still be there this year, the, the, the year of the convention. From a Portland example, Portland had the Rock Bottom Brewery for decades in downtown as a place you could go to to eat. And even and beyond that, there was the Alder Street Food Cart Pod, two square blocks, or just a block and a half, half of straight food carts of any variety of food that you want, addressing any dietary, all your dietary requirements in terms of whether you have food allergies or you're vegan or you are need kosher uh, or you follow uh, kosher for food or halal or what have you. You had you could get what you you could get what you want and what fits in your limitations and your budget there, and they're both gone now. I'm recording this on the 1st of November. Rock Bottom Brewing closed two days ago. Actually, three days ago. The Alder Street Food Cart Pod is... T it's a hole in the ground now that they're... For the foundation of a big, giant hotel and a parking garage they're going to build in downtown Portland. And the carts that were there have dispersed to the four winds. So, really... Scout the area. Know if you are, if you have dietary requirements due to food allergies, due to personal restrictions, vegetarian, vegan, if you need to eat, if you have religious dietary restrictions, a halal, kosher, etc., you really need to scout the area again twice. Don't assume anything. Related to this, if this. Yeah, like uh, that, that that's the big bit there. Um I can yes, wait list. Also in scanning the area, look for places nearby where you can get the things you will need or that you may have forgotten or will run out of over the course of the convention. Um in particular, if you have medication over the counter medication requirements. Um not the prescription stuff. Prescription stuff, you should have those filled and with you when you travel to the convention. And I shouldn't need to tell you that, but I'm mentioning it anyway. But if you have if for example, okay, you're you got a you get a blister a few days before the convention, and you're like, I'm not gonna let this keep me from going to the con and having a good time. If you run out of blister stuff, know where there's a Walgreens or a CVS where you can go and Get stuff for your blister nearby the convention and that sort of thing. And how to, not just how to get there. Because again, with the blister thing, walking with that's not necessarily a viable option. Know how the mass transit system works so you can take a bus there. Like that, that covers probably most important things. This is probably my shorter videos for a while. It's actually, in a way, shorter than my con survival tips video. That was 12 minutes. I'm coming up on nine. Um, Okay, I'm a little over nine, but having gone to much more conventions, I have revised and expanded my knowledge of what the con tips are and what the important information is.
thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe, and also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that. 